Hello and welcome to 6 Minutes, I'm Michael Woodhead. This week we're talking about e-health. In just over a year's time, your patients will have access to their own e-health record. That's the ambitious pledge made this week by the head of the Federal Health Department, Jane Holton. Speaking at an AMA conference in Sydney this week, she said that in July 2012, patients will be able to start building their own personally controlled e-health record, the so-called PCEHR. The details are still sketchy, but according to Ms Holton, the e-health record will consist of three basic elements. Firstly, a summary health record, which will contain details such as medical history and medications. Secondly, an event record, which will list things such as GP visits. And thirdly, a section where patients can add their own health information, which might include things such as blood glucose levels or mood changes. These electronic records are not going to be held in a central database, but by doctors, and they'll be tracked and indexed by the patient's unique health identifier. This is the personal ID number that all Australians now have, and which is going to be a key to the whole system. It's also going to be an opt-in system, and not an opt-out system, as is used in other countries. Now, Jane Holton was the first to admit at the conference that this PCEHR system is not going to be fully operational from day one on the 1st of July 2012. In her words, it's going to be an incremental rollout. The implementation has been coordinated by the National eHealth Transition Authority, NITA. The head of NITA, Peter Fleming, was at the conference and he sounded a bit daunted by this July 2012 target. He actually said he felt a bit like those NASA scientists must have done in the 1960s when President Kennedy gave them the target of putting a man on the moon by the end of the decade. So what does this all mean for GPs? Well, we put that question to Dr Mukesh Heikerwell, who's a Melbourne GP, former head of the AMA, and he's now a clinical lead for NITA. This is what he had to say. The main message is that the key building block for e-health into the future, like it is today, will be general practice. The personally controlled electronic health record is one piece of the jigsaw, the key piece of infra infrastructure that can bring together all the bits that don't talk to each other at the moment. The key of the element of that shared electronic health record summary will be a uh, curated record based on the GP summary record as proposed by the RSCGP in the paper format been taken to the electronic format. So GPs have a significant role. Why? Because 89% of people see the GP once a year and 98% of GPs have a computer system which is used for clinical purposes. So it's a very good mix and so we're going to be prepared for this as general practitioners. Now there will be some places where there are no GPs and there'll be some people that may not want the GP to curate their record. That's fine, but I'm talking about the core, the, most, the majority, and that's what we're going to build towards first of all. According to Dr Heikerwell, the Federal Health Department is about to release its long-awaited Concepts of Operations document for the PCEHR, which will give more details about how the whole thing is going to work. Well, that's just one of the stories we're covering in six minutes this week. There are plenty more in our daily email newsletter. I'm Michael Woodhead. I'll see you next week.